Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's been a couple weeks since the stroke, and um, pretty much um, I had been to the doctor's doctor's office, and he got me on some plevix and uh, blood, you know, blood thinners and some blood pressure pills. Uh, I had to take them at night because, like, I take them at like nine o'clock at night, and by the time I get up in the morning, it's I'm not feeling weirded out from the drugs that they give me, and I not really I don't like the feeling that all these uh, blood pressure pills and everything give me. So I just assume to sleep it off during the night and then get up in the morning. I test my blood pressure and my oxygen levels, levels. <clears throat> and I found out that I was putting my oxygen sensor on wrong and I figured that out by today. Uh, so, <clears throat> so far most, most of my blood pressure is just normal within that normal range. Uh, oxygen levels around 95. One hand is, is higher than the other. My left, my left hand is higher than my right hand. So for some reason, uh, with the oxygen, I don't know if that's some some kind of a balance in your body or something. I don't know what that it's all about. But um, just doing an update on that. Um, my voice is getting better. Um, I. I've been working um, outside and watching, you know, the heat, because it's been, it's, the heat has gone up. We haven't had any rain for a few days now, and we've been able to get a few things done. Um, waiting for today, the people are bringing a load of stones here to uh, fill in the, uh, the, thing, the uh, pad that we've been working on. Uh, Go on and show you this. Uh, I sort of got this. Uh, I sort of got the shop sort of cleaned up. Working on it. Uh, I don't know what to do with these these motors. I picked them up because I thought I was going to use them, and I don't know. I was going to use the parts, but I I think I'm just did somebody you know buy them or put them out by the street. They need somebody. Use them. <clears throat> this is what's going on. We've still got everything packed on our uh, pad. See, we still got everything sitting here waiting because we're putting the hover freight garage back here. But this is what I finished yesterday and finally got all this leveled out. But I, it's been hot here in the last couple of days, so I just been taking my time and doing this and putting this, putting this in the ground. So I'm gonna spread stones on on the ground here to pack it down, and half of it will go on the pad here. And I gotta, I gotta uh, fix this hole. <laughs> it's kind of like. I don't know what happened here, but it's just got a divot in it somehow. Could have been from the tree falling on it. And our garden is looking good. She planted some tomato plants in here and all this is starting to grow with all the rain that we've had. Um, and we got uh, some onions going over here. These are watermelons. She's trying this. I don't know if there's enough sun getting to it, but, but she's been watering it. So slowly kind of getting rid of some junk here. Eventually I'm gonna end up doing uh, filling my trailer up and dumping a bunch of junk 
So we put this up here. The reason why the metal is here is because of the rain. We get a lot of rain flow uh, from up here. It's up high ground right here. I'm seeing it high. See, can't really tell by looking at it. If I'm, if I'm looking straight, I could probably reach up and touch the roof from here. But I'm, I'm down here is a couple, uh, two or three feet lower, a foot lower maybe, or two feet maybe. So this is like a water, like a diversion thing. So when it rains very really hard, the water will just flow around this and keep this uh, water, you know, dry pretty much. <coughs> so, so we're waiting. So we're waiting on Whoa. the rock people. And Rocky is driving the train. Is he going back in? Everyone's attention. So that's an update. This back in my little perch here. So just wanted to let you know um, doing better every day. Uh, make adjustments here. Um, I found that magnesium is really so helping me out. Um, I take I take magnesium and potassium in the morning, and uh, that seems to help. For it seems like between uh, when I wake up, I wake up at like four o'clock in the morning. I don't know why. When I go to sleep around like ten, eleven o'clock now. So when I wake up. And I drink a couple cups of coffee. Let's see, everybody, a little bit of sugar. I, I'm trying to cut out the sugar in my life, so. But I do kind of like sugar in my coffee, sort of. So we've been grinding our own coffee. We get the coffee beans from Sam's Club, and we just grind up our own. So I don't know if it's any cheaper doing it that way, but. Uh, I hope that, you know, from uh, my family's point of view and my friends, that I am getting better um, with, this, with the stroke. Um, just have to really be careful of the heat, you know, not over ex exerting myself. And the food is, like, important. And I'll talk about the carnivore diet on the next video. So, just an update, um, today is, what is today, May 3rd, I think it's the 3rd, it's like rent, rent time of the month, you get, first I get paid, so my social security pays me and I get paid around the 1st to the 3rd, so it's right around that time, 3rd, I think it's the 3rd. Well, anyways, that's an update. Um, I'm learning to uh, slow down my speech, and I get a you get a lot of saliva build up in your mouth, my mouth, and I have to swallow before I start talking. If I talk too much, then my throat gets hoarse. So hopefully, my speech sounds better. Um, still slurring a little bit, but. Um, the foods that I'm eating, I think, are helping. So I'll get into the carnivore diet in the, in the next video. So, okay. Have a nice day.